So I'm going to smooth it out. It's already loud. It's already forceful. So loud, smoother. That way we still get the melody. See, what if I do this? See, no melody, no melody. It's written with accents, and it's loud, but no melody. So to make it a melody, I must play it smoothly. So that it still sounds like a tone. When you have to give the student things to experiment with so they can find what works for them, not what works for me. Doesn't matter that they do it my way, that's not important. What's important is that we, I say, you can experiment with these five things. Find which one of them works for you. And it's easy, it's easy of course, to, to see that it has worked or it hasn't worked. That's easy. Provide them with the choices and let them make the choice. Anytime you're trying to learn something, don't try to learn it at piano. No! Give yourself, give yourself a couple days, for God's sakes. Give yourself a break. You know, let yourself try it out at whatever volume is comfortable, then start working on the volume. There tends to be more pressure on the lower level. <laughs> There tends to be even pressure on the two lips. That tends to be more pressure on the upper lip. Now he is, you are, using even pressure on both lips everywhere. And that tends to make things sound the same.